Hello YouTube, hello world, hello everybody who's watching. My name is Siposetu Ogasisangu and this is my second post that I'm setting up um, and I hope you really enjoy. I'm all about bringing hope, I'm all about provoking destinies and just everybody that I encounter, I want to inspire them to live beyond their current state, you know, and to dream big. So, um, I'd like to share a story that was once shared to me a few years ago, but I'll put my own revelation of the story and obviously a twist to it. Um, it was about the animal world, particular, and particularly the frog world. They were, there was a race in the frog world and there was a tunnel that was built for years and years. It was years old. And every year there would be a race that who's, which frog is going to make it to the very top, you know, of the tunnel. And for years and years, ever since that tunnel had existed, nobody had made it to the top. Everybody would attempt and they would race every year. Every child that was born was trained by his parents, the frog parents, to mature and grow up to be able to race. And hopefully maybe he would be the one that would bring light to his family, you know. But um, it, it had happened that every year nobody got it right. And in this particular race, there was a million frogs racing, a new generation. They were all like, this is it, you know, the winner should come out of this one. And they started to race, and they went up, and they went up, and they went up in millions. And they started to fall. As they kept on going up, more and more frogs fell. There were a thousand, then there were a hundred, and then there was just fifty, and then there was just ten, you know, keep on going up. And when every one of them fell, there was just this one particular frog that kept on going up. It went up and up and up and people sat there and looked at it and they said, you will not make it. Nobody has ever made it. Nobody has ever been strong enough to make it. It's an impossible thing. We just know, you know, it's an impossible factor. Yes, the idea is that we need to get to the top, but nobody ever really gets to the top. Where is the top anyway? Nobody knows. But this frog kept on going up and he did make it. <laughs> Despite what people said, he made it. And on his way down, the journalist came to him running, wanting to interview him, taking pictures of him. And the journalist, one journalist said, I want to know your secret. How did you make it? And when he said that, they realized that he could not hear. He was deaf. So he could not hear what they were saying. And that was the power of his victory. Because when they were speaking about people that had failed prior over the years, he did not hear that. When they were saying things that were negative, criticizing him, maybe his size, his height, his, his, his skin, whatever that they were criticizing about the frog that had never made it, his fitness, he didn't hear. All he did was see where he was going. He had a vision. And he had a vision of saying, you know what? I'm going somewhere, and that somewhere is to the top, and I'm going to make it. He forgot everybody that was behind him and forgot everything that held him back, and he knew that I was born to get to the top, and I will get to the top no matter what. I want to share this post with you today, or oh, I'm sharing this with you today, saying that many people have spoken concerning your life. Many people have said you will not make it. Many people have said you're not good enough. Many people have said, why do you think you... What can come out of your household? What can come out of your family? But God has a plan and a purpose with your life. He says in the book of Jeremiah 1 verse 9, Before I formed you, I knew you. Before he formed you, he knew you. He predestined you for greatness. He says to Abraham in Genesis 12, I would like to read that in conclusion of this message. He says in Genesis 12 to... Abraham, let's get there, let's get there, let's get there. He says, the Lord said to Abraham, get out of your country, from your family, from your father's house, to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make, you, and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. And in you, the families of the earth, shall be blessed. 
We know when you continue with the story of Abraham that the Lord just said to him, as far as you can see, the land is yours. You understand what you see, as far as you can see. So I want to say to people, they will speak, but the question is, what do you see? They will speak, but the question is, what do you see? Is what do you know? You know, the Lord has said things concerning your life. Let no man rob you of who God has called you to be. I am Sipotetu Sishawo, signing out, and I will sign out with the song. Because you live, I can face tomorrow. Because you live, Lord, my sin is gone. And now I My life is worth the living just because you live. Your life is worth the living because Jesus lives. From me, Siposetio Sislavu, stay blessed. Love you lots. Bye. Ah.